It's been called groundbreaking, must-see TV, and of course, outrageously funny. But one thing's for sure, since the first series five years ago, it's become one of the most successful shows in American television history. Winning countless awards, including four Emmys, and from Madonna to Elton John, a whole host of celebrity fans eager to break down these studio doors for a cameo role. What's the show? By Will and Grace, of course, and I'm Ross King, and here I am right on the set. So come with me now as we go exclusively behind the scenes to talk to the stars of the show on Will and Grace, Access All Areas. There's a fair amount of fondling goes on during the filming. Absolutely. Is there a lot of fondling goes on off as well? Yeah, it's a pretty X-rated set. What he's been telling us it's a very touchy-feely set, on and off. Yeah. So what are the highlights of working with Eric? You're never wanting for a song because there's always songs to be sung when Eric is around. Lots of hugs That's and nice. kisses and, and comfort even when you don't need comforting just because he's touchy-feely. Um, and I think we've all become maybe a little inappropriately touchy-feely as a result. You know, five years, you sort of lose your boundaries. We all, you know, part of acceptance is touching, and wherever that goes with Meg and Deb and Eric and me, then so be it. There's no boundary? There's no boundaries. <laughs> There's no boundaries. We're all sleeping with each other. How about that? Helen Grace has been a phenomenal success since it first hit the airwaves back in 1998. So, who have we got to thank for the show? Well, I caught up with the guys that started it all, writers David Cohen and Max Muchnick, to discover that originally the show wasn't about Will and Grace at all. NBC made the phone call to, to us, and they were looking for a new love story to put on uh, television, on their network. And we're like, what love story can we tell with a good obstacle? Because yeah. love stories are only as good as the obstacles that prevent the two from getting together. And then we came up with an idea uh, to tell a love story that... that, that, that has would, an insurmountable... Yeah, ha has an insurmountable obstacle, and they'll never get to the kiss. And, and uh, uh, we thought of this couple, Will, Will and Grace. But, but the truth is, we went in there first with a different couple at the center of the show, and Will and Grace were the neighbors. And that's how we pitched the series, and they liked... The, the, these neighbors, Will and Grace, they said, we're much more interested in them, but why don't you two go back to your office and, and think of a, a series that would revolve around... It was still seen as a big gamble for the network to make a show based around straight and gay relationships, but they dealt with the critics in a way that would have made Jack and Karen proud. What's really fun to keep an eye on is the number of anti-gay groups and conservative groups that give that show hell. And much to their credit, they fight back and they send back bitchy letters. You know that should be another show. Is you know the producers sending back their very, their very uh, Megan Mullally esque letters to these conservative groups, saying, well, you know, like, oh, you know, you sound hot. Can we meet up later? I mean, they send letters like that. It's hysterical. How many times a day do you get, even when you're out with the wife, and the kid, and all that stuff, and do people going, come on, you are, aren't you? Come on. Uh, quite a bit, although they're very often talking about something else. <laughs> You're the guy from Dharma and Greg, aren't you? <laughs> Honestly. And I'll go, yes, yes I am. And uh, piss off. <laughs> um, uh, it, it's, it's starting to happen more and more. I think syndication makes that, you know, more so. It's, the show is built so st steadily, slowly but surely. And, uh, and now, it's fun to be in other cities. In Hollywood, people kind of expect to run into, it's fun to be in, Toronto or, or London. I was in London last year and people kind of just, what would I be doing there? And the, the look on their faces was like, ha, ha. I, was in, I was in Italy actually last spring and being served by a pretty snotty waiter in Siena until these four Texan women came up and said, could we please, we have to have our picture taken with you. So please, just would you mind, it's our favorite show. And after they left, the waiter came up and said, Scusi, those are women. Why they want your, your picture? I said, my friend said he's on a big television show, and all of a sudden we were getting free dessert and free wine, so it was, uh, it, it pays off once in a while. You mentioned before all these great stars that you've been getting on the show as well. Yeah. Now, you're not allowed to say that they're all great and that they're all your favorites. Putting the pressure on you again, you've got to pick who's been your favorite. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's really hard, because we've had so many extraordinary people. Um, 
I'll give you I'll give you a couple. Okay. Okay. Um, Debbie Reynolds is just to to have Debbie Reynolds as my mother is just I, I still pinch myself. So I can't I can't believe that this grand dame of you know Hollywood history is is on our stage regularly as my mom. So that's just that's a thrill that I think is unmatched. I don't even know from Leo. I'm not sure I approve. He's a Jewish doctor. Oh, I love him. <laughs> don't cock it up. It was so exciting to play opposite um, Glenn Close for me, because growing up, Glenn Close and Meryl Streep were the two women that I watched most as a budding actress, saying, oh my gosh, they're, they're my heroes. So to actually be able to be acting to opposite her, her and to have her kiss me was strangely shocking um, and confusing. You were so boom, boom, boom. <laughs> um, and uh, Matt Damon was just so game and hilarious. Gene? <laughs> What's up? I was just in Hollywood for a little while. Nice, I nice by. to drop by. This is the show that you do. This is the one. Yeah. Yeah. I hear it's very funny. <laughs> I think that they come onto the show because they're, they're, there's a certain consistency with the material. They, 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 they know from watching and they know from talking to friends that, that they're going to be taken care of. We've, we've tried to make, a, uh, you know, make it a policy to tailor make everything to these superstars that come onto this show and take good care of them. And, and then in addition to that, I think that they show up and it's a very happy set. I actually got a call from a friend of mine who, work at, who works at Michael Douglas's company. He said, you know, Michael Douglas seems to think it looks like fun on that, <laughs> and he kind of wants to do one. And I said, I said, convince him that it is in fact fun, and 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 please, we would love to. I didn't get to act with him at all, practically, but Michael Douglas watching him do that episode with with Eric was I I, I cried with laughter every day that I watched him. I couldn't believe how funny he was. The thing about Michael Douglas, he's a He's a good kisser. Really good. <laughs> good, and it's, it's just gotten outrageous now. I mean, since Michael and Matt Damon signed on this year, we've had to be more. We've got Madonna coming up. But she's not, apparently nothing to do with me. Since I, I actually, you know, tried to fondle Michael, all the, the guest stars have now been told, don't work in the McCormack scene. It actually made me into a character when the, when the writers was first kind of talking about it. He said, well, it's you, but it's kind of like a heightened version of you. I said, well, what do you want me to do? You're really cheap. I've, I've never really bought into that whole Hollywood thing, you know, premieres, limos, paying people over minimum wage. <laughs> and it, it's not because I'm cheap. You're saying that you came out of the room with sitcom stamped in your head. Yeah. <laughs> is, is this true? I, it's true I said it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know. At the time, I think I was just excited to get a job. And the great thing about Jack seems to be that there is no way you can ever go over the top. There seems to be no ceiling, and I, I hope it stays that way, because it's, it's a lot of fun. And how much can you just put into yourself? How much can you sort of ad-lib and just have fun? It's great. The, the writers really let us um, kind of come up with our own things, and, and it's, it's as simple as if it's funny, it stays in. If it's not, it doesn't. <laughs> so, you know, we're free to come up with ideas and improvise. I do all the time. Satin. Soft. Manly. <laughs> must remember this for fantasy dream later. <laughs> what advice do you have for all the Gracies out there? <laughs> oh, gosh. No pressure. No pressure at all. <laughs> um, hang in there. Have a sense of humor about dating. Um, enjoy your friendships, always. And uh, trust that everything happens in a good time. So, we're now for the show. With four amazing series gone and one about to begin, the burning question is, just what does the future hold for the Fab Four? It's hard to even guess where the writers are going to take us because they've, they've really surprised us every year. They've, things have happened that have, at least on paper, seemed like, seemed like they've boxed us in somewhere. And it's like, what? You know, I mean, Grace moved into Jack's apartment at one point, and then, I mean, there's all these different things, the wedding, and, um, but I do think that eventually I would love to see Will find a true love, 
um, whether or not it's rocky. I, I think comedy always has to have it be rocky, but you know, to find the guy. And um, I think it would be fun to see Jack actually yeah. find someone. Well, sad to say that's it, the end of the show. So we leave the Hollywood magic behind, but I hope you have enjoyed it. And be sure to tune in to the whole of the brand new series of Will and Grace right here on Living TV. See you soon. Thank you.